We'll be back with more from the NCAAs at Indy. Welcome back to the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships. Once again, here are the women's team standings. LSU leading defending champion Texas by 19 points. Three athletes representing those two schools will be in our next event, the women's 60 meters. The coach's blood pressure is on the moon. Why? Because the sprints, anything can happen. Pedigay Dowdy from LSU is the one representative in this race. There's two Texans in here in the final. And anything can happen. If you last out of the blocks, the difference can be five points for your school. You see Lakeisha Baxis from Texas. They hope to score big here. Really critical in this battle. Everybody here acknowledges it's a two-team race right now between LSU and Texas. Here are the lane assignments. Four conference champions and three conference runners-up in this incredibly talented field. Nancy Perry of Texas in one. Keisha Backus of Texas in three, Edigay Dowdy of LSU in four. She won her heat leading to this final. The other heat winner, Tanya Lawrence from Florida International, is in lane five. I might add, Pedigay Dowdy won her heat dramatically, easily had the best time. She was the class of the sprint field in the preliminary rounds. Debbie Ferguson, the SEC champ, in lane six from Georgia. <laughs> I can't believe Pedigay Dowdy looks like she has jumped in lane four. You cannot have a false start in the NCAAs. You are thrown out if you do. This could be crucial to the team title. I can't believe it. Watch lane four. All she can claim is that she was somehow drawn off, but it didn't appear that anyone else moved. Absolutely stunning. And she's walking away. She's been, she's been thrown out of the 60 meter women's final and that's potentially 10 points out the window for LSU and I mean that could be the whole national title right there we don't know for sure this rest of the meets don't have to go on but boy this is a close event clean start sometimes hard to tell indoors with that reverberation looks like Debbie Ferguson from Georgia coming forward out of lane six I spoke with Debbie Ferguson, and I think she is clearly the winner. Here's her meet record, meet record time. She said, my grades are better than my performance right now. This woman has an Olympic silver medal from the Bahamas in the 1996 Olympic Games in the 4 by 100 meters. This is top talent winning this race. But Pettigay Dowdy was favored over Debbie Ferguson coming into the race. Debbie Ferguson the winner, but the story was Pettigay Dowdy. She's with Lewis. Peter Gay, a disappointing false start in the 60. What happened? I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things that happened. It's the first, and hopefully it's the last time. I don't know what happened. Now, in terms of points, what do you think this does to LSU, losing the potential 10 or 8 points should you have finished first or second? What will this do for that? I don't know. I guess we just have to keep our heads up, um, keep plunging, you know, whatever happens, happens. Thanks. Thank you. Betta Ann Dowdy appears to be on the verge of tears. She'll have another chance, though. Debbie Ferguson picks up the victory. Lakeisha Backus and Nancy Perry of Texas finish second and fourth. As we check the Nike women's point standings and the team battle, it is now just six between LSU and Texas as they pick up 13 points in that event. <laughs> 